So we have two meerkats on exhibit here at Junzu, a male and a female. The female is seven years old and her name is Matata, and the male is six years old and his name is Zulu, and they're just roommates. Um, <laughs> just to live together, they're very social animals. They live in the large groups, up to 50 animals sometimes. Um, but our female was hand raised here in the children's zoo nursery. Mom wasn't taking care of her and she was part of a different litter. Unfortunately, her siblings have all passed away at this time and she does have a heart condition. So we acquired her a friend just so she still has that social aspect. Um, but they are very, very social animals. And they can live into their early teens and they live in the Kalahari Desert of, of Africa. So they have some harsh environment that they live in. They love to eat all sorts of different bugs. Uh, they spend a lot of their time during the day digging and they'll eat something like a scorpion even. They are fast and they can kill the scorpion and eat it before it even has a chance to sting them. They'll even eat venomous snakes, which is pretty impressive and they can take the bite from a venomous snake without um, it affecting them too much. Ah, that's a very good question. It is not a good idea to have an these animals as pets. They very much do bite. We always wear gloves when we go in with them, and we wear long pants and long sleeves the majority of the time as well. Even though our female was hand-raised in the nursery, it's a very strong relationship because she was hand-raised and bottle-fed by us, but she still, every once in a while, if she sees a little bit of skin, she'll take a cheap shot. So they do not make good pets, and they can be rather destructive. They spend a lot of their time digging, even when they're Full, their bellies are full, they just are very, very active and very, very busy, so they would not make very good pets. 